today we'll be looking at a lady who's managed to get herself into the news. And my hope for this video is that you, dear viewer, living through these strange and turbulent times, no matter what you're going through, whatever crap hand life has dealt you, I hope you can take solace in knowing that at least you're not as fucking mental as she is. Meet 38-year-old English singer-songwriter Brocord. That's it, that's what she goes by. Now, generally speaking, people tend to have more than one name. I don't want to lord it over anyone, but I've got a first name, a surname, and a middle name, so get me. And in no way do I think the following story is a desperate attempt for Brocord to promote her own music. It's a sad fact that she's unlikely to make it big in the music industry simply because she's pushing 40. She's left it a bit late, around 15 to 20 years too late. Most successful female artists have their first hit in their late teens or early 20s, and they manage to remain relevant only by going progressively mad. Madonna is a good case in point, but Brocord has decided to put all her cards on the table at once. She says that she has spine-tingling orgasms with her partner, Eduardo, so good for her. But there's something rather unusual about him. Because Eduardo is a fucking ghost. A fucking ghost. If this is to be believed, he is quite literally a ghost who does fucking. Whenever someone asks me, have you ever seen a ghost? My reply is always the same. No, I haven't, and nor has anyone else, because they don't bloody exist. The majority of sightings happen either when someone has just woken up, or if they're in a darkened room in a dreamlike state. Essentially, the brain isn't fully awake and the mind is playing tricks on us. And as for the things that go bump in the night, ghostly creakings, that's mostly just plumbing. I mean, call it an exorcist if you want, but it's much cheaper to just bleed the radiators and if that doesn't work, flush out the central heating system. Apparently, in life, Eduardo was a Victorian era soldier who died tragically aged 35 by falling into a well. So he wasn't the brightest of chaps when he was alive, let alone dead. And Brocord said he revealed himself to her one night during a thunderstorm, because clearly this story needs a few more fucking cliches, after she'd had an argument with a friend. I imagine she has a lot of arguments, with her friends not so much arguing, but pleading, please go back on the medication. Brocord described the manner in which Eduardo revealed himself. She was laying in bed, and the room was very cold, but suddenly she started to feel warm. So possibly the manifestation of a paranormal entity, or maybe she was just a bit ill. Then Eduardo made the candles flicker. The candles, does she live in a sodding Emily Bronte novel? The candles flickering, is that the presence of a ghost or does a house just need double glazing? But then she heard a voice inside her head say, I love you. And that sounds very romantic. It also sounds more like psychosis than the presence of the supernatural. However, despite having such amazing orgasms with her ghostly lover, Brocord doesn't go into any details about their sex life. Which is disappointing because that's the bit we're all interested in. How does Eduardo, and I'll use the correct medical terminology, give her a damn good ploughing? Does he appear out of the ether? with his phantom cock already upper? Or does he come floating through the wall, led by a spectral hard-on? I guess this is good news if you're a straight man living in Oxfordshire, because that's where this nut job lives. But let's be fair, she's not a bad-looking lass. So I'm guessing all you have to do is turn up at her house wearing a bedsheet and going, ooh, and the chances are you'll get to fuck her. And when you hit your vinegar stroke, just blow it wherever you feel like, come all over the place and tell her it's ectoplasm. That's ruined Ghostbusters for you. But the most disturbing thing about the relationship is that Brocord says that her fuck buddy from beyond the veil will want her to join him in the spirit realm, so he's planning to kill her. Just a general word of advice. If you are in any relationship and your other half is planning on murdering you, get the fuck out. Anyway, you'll be able to hear what it's like shagging a member of the Choir Invisible because it's the basis for her new album. So the whole thing has been a way to get free advertising, which I've just done for her. As ever, thanks for watching. Meet 38 year old British singer songwriter,
Bro it's a stupid fucking name. On crap daytime TV, you may see orbs floating across a darkened room. That's just dust and fucking lens flares. Most disturbing thing about the room, oh, fuck it. But how does Eduardo, and I'll use the proper medical terminology, bang her like a shit house door when the plague's in town. Medical terminology, go skiing on her pink run. Medical terminology, say, brace yourself, you're gonna feel this in your tonsils. Things that go, they don't go, they go bump in the night. Irrelevant by going progressively mad. Case in point being, let no. Christina Scabby is 49. I'd still do her. Carla Harvey's 40. Let's just do a list of older women I'd like to bang. Eduardo is a ghost. But hang on, it's Victorian era, so wouldn't he just be Edward rather than Eduardo? That's some European thing. Back when we had control of our borders. Yeah, just one there for the right wingers. Fucking turn off. Eat the 